Hello everybody, this is JT's Reviews here and today, instead of shaving which is what I've mostly been doing on this channel I've decided to do a Poundland thing now before you scream at me and say oh I'm doing something with uh, doing something that Ashens would do and all that shoot me down, that's all I can really say <laughs> and it's not really copying Ashens because my content will be a little bit different and I'm not doing this for humour gags, I'm doing it for simply disaster review sort of things and uh, yeah <laughs> I've also put my phone on silent my new one because I just realised that it just bleaked in the middle of it and it was basically I Sean which you've just got a bloody shout out thank you uh, giving me a bloody creepypasta and I'm not going to read it because I don't like creepypastas because they're bloody boring yes did I just say that anyway time to review some crap me things uh, there's three items um, one good-ish sort of item and two more crap items god help me and today's theme is all about usb devices and mostly to do with uh, headsets if you will so let's start off with this usb vacuum cleaner if there's a such thing it's in poundland <sighs> it makes you wonder you know is everything in poundland rejects that other shops not sold or something because Poundland seems to be getting all the crap that everyone else is not selling which is really strange I mean I saw cassette tapes in there for a pound as well that just shows the age of Poundland anyway it says powered by your computer well duh it's USB uh, with dusting brush adapter now mine came wrecked in the package ladies and gentlemen which is not good and on the back it says nearly the same thing so let's open this crappy thing uh, it or get enthusiastic, I don't know. I've got the blue one, which is nice. So, there's the brush, which looks broken to be honest. And here is the device. God, even looking at it makes me want to throw it in the bin already. They've changed the settings on this. They've got a strange system going on here. Power up and there's a power up button on the bottom. Oh, and there's an LED, because uh, everyone else wants their hoover to hoover in the dark. I don't know about you, but I would like to do that. He jokes. Anyway, but I'm going to plug it into my USB adapter. And switch her on. Ooh, the LED light is on. I don't know if you can see that. But it's on. Which is good. I'm glad it has a, a turn off on this, but the turn off button on the top is misleading because what is off is on and off is on oh wait no it's not it's a slider not a button sorry it is a slider so you can slide on the LED and slide it off so I basically just got one LED on the bottom here and if I turn it again the hoover starts up Yep, it definitely sucks. And what's scary about this is it's getting louder. Let's try the crappy brush. So apparently you can take off this uh, bit here and here's the filter right here. Mine doesn't have a hole in it. So that's an improvement, I guess, of Poundland's part. So I've put the brush on and let's turn her on. Actually, let's get an example. Here is something I prepared earlier. This is my Advent netbook laptop and it's filthy as my, well, I don't didn't have a filthy X. I went out with an X, but yeah. anyway. Oh, it has a boost button in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's crap. Um, I've never known to use an Poundland item that I felt ripped off about. So yeah, basically that is just terrible. Next item on the list involves even crapper items actually this is a lie because 
this is actually not a bad product in its own right. It is the USB notebook cooler. Yes, a such thing exists. And you know what? It's a great thing that it exists. Actually, I should have said that for the uh, Hoover because it's pointless having a Hoover for your keyboard because the, the thing hardly works. You might as well just use, um, you know, with antibacterial stuff on it. But yeah, it says this cooler has a fan that prevents a, or provides, sorry, a cool airflow directed onto your computer netbook base. This helps the. Bleh, 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 I can't be bothered with that. The netbook cooler is. Oh, I can't be bothered with that either. Anyway, let's get it out. And apparently it comes with an LED. Which is not good, uh, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, because I already have this product and. I had to rip out the LED because it was on one side. So yeah, basically I'm not really happy with the LED, but the rest of it works great. It's a nice uh, firm-ish sort of thing. Mine came uh, dirty out of the box, by the way. Anyway, let's plug it in and see it run. Unfortunately, my adapter's not very strong, so it's not very strong on the fan setting, but when you put it on a, a proper plug socket, it is really quick on the USB adapters. But yeah, not a bad little device, I suppose. Stickers are a bit stupid. Um, what I intend to do with my uh, cooler, because this is another one I've got. This is the one I've been using for near a month now. I've uh, yanked out the LED because the LED gets annoying at night. Because what it does is when this is plugged in, let me just show you that quick again you can see that the LED can get annoying, now because I've got the high lights on um, you can't see the LED uh, that much but at night it reflects out and it uh, can be really annoying so what I intend to do is take the screws out the bottom and take out the LED basically. And let me just show you what I mean by that. So this is my one I've prepared earlier. There is absolutely no LED in there and it still works fine. I might even make a tutorial on how to do that later. Maybe. I'm a bit lazy. Anyway, next item is this, which is a headset. I wanted to get myself a headset, but I didn't really want to get a cheap one, but I thought, eh, do it for the comedy. Uh, this one is a stereo headset with microphone. Obviously, because it's a headset. Comfortable with a wide range of audio devices, ideal for internet calls. Well, obviously. I doubt this even is great for even Skype, to be honest, but there you go. Stereo headset with microphone, obviously. Compatible with a wide range of audio devices. Well, duh, because it's a 3.5mm. Come on, guys, get it right. Um, compatible and lightweight. Oh, compact and lightweight. Uh, filled with standard audio jack, ideal, ideal for internet calls. <laughs> oh, I'm not the uh, USB thing off. Never mind. Won't be needing it now. But yeah. As I said, that notebook cooler thing is really good. Uh, that's the only thing that is good in this camera and special. Ah, gotcha, I win. There you go. So, what does this thing sound like? Here's an example. Tittle tattle tattle tittle. This microphone sucks, so I can't say anything else with this riddle. Yeah, this is what it sounds like. Good, isn't it? Good old Panland. Not bad for the price. So yeah, not a very good item, but for a pound you can't diss it. And I didn't realise Poundland did uh, headsets, which is kind of funny. Anyway, as you can see, you've got the um, audio jacks, which is uh, the microphone and the headphone. And let me just say, these wires are very delicate and horrible. And, ugh. and um, it does swivel around the headset and all that. And uh, yeah, very nice, kind of. I mean, the sound in the uh, headphones is a bit uh, stereo doppler effect, if you know what I mean. It uh, goes in two ears and it's a bit uncomfortable. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you later. And hopefully more Powerland stuff and shaving videos to follow. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed.
the channel that picks up crap and I don't know, has nothing better to do with his life. Bye.